Okay, welcome back to Divaka's Medical Center YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Danny. Sorry for my voice. I'm a little bit under the weather, but it's okay. So today we have a very special video. We have the ultimate showdown between invasive and non-invasive face plastic procedures, surgery, all you want to know. And we have people to test it on. So today I'm with Dr. Kim and Dr. Park, and we are going to have some guests and they're gonna see what, what they want to do in their faces. So they're each gonna give their different opinions regarding their own areas of expertise and offer them what they think will be the best for their faces and their concerns. So right now we're gonna bring our first guest and please come. So here we are with our first guest. Um, her name is Akemi, but I'm gonna let her introduce herself and tell you about her concerns regarding her face. So, Tarnan. Hi guys, my name is Akemi, I'm from Brazil and when I was asked what's my biggest concern about my face I would say it's probably my double chin so whenever I turn around I see a double chin and I kind of wanted to sew that I'm like, can you so, help me? <laughs> thank you very much What we're going to do right now is that each of the doctors is going to get a turn to examine her face so that's it for the examination round and now we're going to see what they can offer a chemi for her problem. So, Dr. Park. 보시면 보톡스를 이용한 리프팅 시술을 더모톡신과 어 리프팅 시술을 이렇게 라인을 따라서 할것 같고요. 그 다음에 이제 실제적으로 이제 피부 두께를 약간 조금 더 압축시킬 수 있는 그런 하이프 그 대표적으로 울세라가 있거든요. 이제 울세라를 이용해서 턱선을 줄이고 그 다음에 옆선도 이제 광대 쪽이 부분도 조금 약간 그 부피감 있기 때문에 그걸 줄이면서 조금 더 타이트한 그런 얼굴형을 만들 것 같습니다. 6개월마다 이제 반복 시술을 권장하기는 해요. 하지만 뭐맨 처음처럼 효과는 없진 않고 그 다음에 여기 그 메탈리스트 머슬 같은 경우에 조금 위축된 효과를 지속적으로 좀 주면 이렇게 좀 볼륨 자체가 조금 약간은 더 줄어드는 게 지속될 수 있는 울세라도 마찬가지고 이제 그런 효과를 줄 수는 있죠. 네. Interesting. I never thought about that possibility, to be honest, because I never heard about like putting Botox here to try to reduce it. Yeah, because I would think that Botox would like enhance the area, but that's cool. No, because like, like the way that we have explained in previous videos, what we're gonna do is paralyze that mm. muscle. So if that muscle is not being used, it goes into atrophy, mm -hmm. and atrophy, what it means is it shrinks mm. because you have you're not using it. Oh, I got it. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Tackle? What would you do for her nose? Nose? Just past the chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we haven't done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, we can do everything no, no, here. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, so now is Dr. Kim's turn. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Kim, tell us what you would offer a chemi. Okay, that was so too much for me. I recommend you with the liposuction for your chin, mm -hmm. lower area, and uh, jawline here. So make we make whole three holes uh, under the earlobe and chin region, three holes and doing the suction with the negative pressure. Mm. So, <laughs> so, and after that, the volume depletion can occur. So I recommend the pre-auricular region to chin area with the PDO uh, lift, which is thread lift. Mm. So I can make you a little bit sharp chin mm. line. And would it be once I do it, it would be forever, or if I gain weight again, like it would... Actually, back. when you're doing the liposuction, mm -hmm. uh, that we can reduce the cell count of mm. the fat tissues. So it can last actually forever, but another portion of the fat tissue can replace the reason. So mm. I recommend you to maintain your <laughs> Cutting the ramen. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting the ramen. Bye bye ramen. <laughs> That's interesting because usually when I'm doing makeup, I try to do exactly that. Like try to make my nose less bulby at the end. So I'm perfecting my makeup to do just that. But if I didn't have to do it, it would be even better. <laughs> Can I add more? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are here. Go for it. No, no, no. Yes. Uh, Take actually, a ride. I can recommend some. Um, uh, the soft tissue envelope was, uh, I recommended before a uh, soft tissue envelope correction like suction or lifting, mm -hmm. but 
in your uh, face, I can see slight uh, higher and uh, longer chin mm. area. So in that case, I can uh, suggest you uh, genioplasty, which is bone surgery, mm. to your reduce and set back and slight uh, lessen your height of chin. Mm. I think it's actually it's bone surgery, so it's quite big surgery. So uh, if you want to be a little bit younger face to your uh, general image, so I can recommend you genioplasty. Mm. Mm -hmm. 물론 이 부분을 줄이는 거에 있어서 뼈의 역할과 근육, 피부 다 있어요. 그러니까 뭐 뼈를 줄이면 그 공간에 스페이스가 남으니까 이제 약간 처지는 느낌이 들 수도 있지 않을까요? 그러니까 스킨 타이트랑 계속 그러니까 병 컴비네이션을 하든지 아니면은 근데 뭐그 본서저리가 좀 약간 위험하다 아니면은 뭐 본인이 안전하지 않다라고 느끼면 이제 약간의 그냥 타이트닝 어 그런 그런 시술로도 충분한 효과는 아닐 수 있지만 그래도 지금보다는 좀더 개선되고 나아진 효과를 바랄, 바랄 수도 있다고 생각해요. I think it's really interesting because I never thought about the idea of doing Botox in this area of the face because the only idea that I had about Botox was like for wrinkles or to I thought it would enhance the area but apparently not really. So thank you very much for being here. Having you here was a pleasure. Uh, if you guys want to check her, she has a YouTube channel and she uploads a lot of stuff about her life here in Korea. Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, you have a lot to think of. Okay, so right now we have another guest. His name is Nicola and he's going to introduce himself and tell us about his concern on his face. So, hello, welcome. Hello, my name is Nicola and I'm from France and I'm studying here in Seoul. So, what is your concern regarding your face? I'd say that my first concern would be my nose because it has a little hump on it because I broke it when I was earlier and it, I want to change it, would like to change it. Okay, so right now we're going to let the doctors check him out and then they're going to give us uh, the solutions that they have for Nicola. So, have a go! First of all, uh, I can see your uh, deviated nose, like reverse C shape mm -hmm. and also your tip and uh, nasal septum are deviated to the slight to the right. So we need to correct the deviation with the osteotomy, which is breaking your nose again and realignment your nasal dorsal uh, aesthetic line. So I recommend slight rasping of your nasal do dorsum, like here. Mm -hmm. And after that, a lateral and medial osteotomy simultaneously, which is can uh, move complete move your nasal floors are uh, bunny bolt here. Okay. So, corrective rhinoplasty after then, uh, you also have the deviated septum, uh, which is nasal septum between your post nostril inside. Mm -hmm. So we have to also correct the uh, nasal septum with the septoplasty. So after that, uh, slight uh, lowering your nasal uh, bridge can occur because we have to slight shaving your nasal hump. So after that, if you feel a little bit, little bit more higher nose, higher nasal bridge, mm -hmm. we can recommend the aloe plastic things such as uh, artificial dermis, like uh, which is dermis from the cadaver. So, <laughs> so it's it's uh, not a big deal. So um, we recommend. Uh, put on some um, artificial drum is also. Okay. Mm. 지금 피 형태의 필러 제형도 있거든요. 예전에 골절이 있었던 부분은 피부와 유착이 됐을 확률이 커서 블라인드로 그 캐뉴라를 이용해서 그 유착을 좀 떼어내기는 뭐 쉽지 않을 수도 있지만 최대한 필러로 할수 있는 것은 그 피부 간의 단차를 좀 줄여서 그래도 좀 발라 보이게 하는 것. Uh, how long will it last? 아. 그 필러는 보통 그 HA 쓰면 코는 그래도 코등은 약간 오래 가는 편이라서 한 2년 정도는 볼, 2년까지도 볼수 있고 그 다음에 아까 전에 말씀드린 그 진피제형 같은 경우에는 조금 더 1, 2년 더 오래 가기도 합니다. Okay, so um, what would be the recovery time for him? Mm. For him, uh, we need recovery time at least two to three weeks mm -hmm. to re uh, healing your uh, bony region. So we have to taping and some um, K 
test to your nasal dorsum for one to two weeks. Oh. So um, after that, and the slight swelling and bruising can remain, but you know, your uh, cure time would be two oh. weeks, two weeks maybe. Okay, that's shorter than I was <laughs> expecting. Ah, <laughs> uh, filler, filler in. 뭐 회복 기간은 굉장히 짧죠. 어, 보통 즉시 즉각적으로도 이렇게 일상생활에는 큰 무리가 없고 약간 그 다음 날 조금 붓기가 있긴 한데 그거를 뭐 어, 어느 정도 시술했네 받았네라고 그 알아차릴 정도는 될 수도 있거든요. 근데 하지만 보통 2, 3일 지나면은 웬만하면 뭐 티가 나는 정도로 회복은 됩니다. Uh, actually, in the surgery, especially corrective rhinoplasty with the osteotomy is very quite big surgery, uh -huh. and actually it's undergoing on, under uh, general anesthesia, so it's quite big surgery, so I recommend uh, first you can do get some fillers on your nasal dorsum and get some uh, camouflage to your nasal dorsal acetyl line. After that, if you are not satisfied or if you need more uh, big surgery. change, yeah, you can do surgery. Maybe you can consider surgery. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that was it. Thank you for letting us know what you can do on his nose. Thank you for being here. It was such a pleasure. Um, it's a wrap. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your trip. Enjoy your day. <laughs>